burned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Yeah, that's kind of an understatement. How can they care about trivia when their whole world is falling apart? I don't know. I kind of like... Never mind. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. This is some kind of trick, right? No, it's a trivia contest. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. What are you up to? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Uh, how long were you? Uh, I guess I was getting a little carried away. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm going to be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kind of scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. I know you miss him. Hey. Hey. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent, be my best friend! I wouldn't be so sure of that, Kent. Fred is my middle name. Ah, a likely story. 
For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! You've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! Silence from the audience, please. Cyan blue? Oh, I'm truly sorry, Jesse. That is not correct. This round goes to Kent. Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet was a little guy named Nugget. Sadly, no. That is not correct. Nugget was his horse. Sadly, our new competitor has not managed to answer enough questions correctly to beat our reigning champion. For the 15th competition in a row, Kent has won. As is proper. Kent wins again. What do we do now? I have an idea. Oh, Fred, let's go. Even his snore makes him sound like a know-it-all. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. A good roommate because it's a real fun guy you know Kent this whole adventure has been really hard it's put a strain on my friendships almost gotten people killed now I'm in this crazy underworld and well it's hard not to give up hope sometimes but I still gotta believe it's gonna be okay I mean you gotta, right? Fred! 
Good talk, Kent. this thing for a long time. It's a... Uh... Whoa. Secret room. There's gotta be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeoburg? But it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Sara and Romeo with me. This... This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Sleepwalking. <sighs> Breaking and entering, and now lying to me? No wonder you aren't a faithful friend of Fred. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. I'm beginning to think they're true, and if they are, that can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it, and you just arrived. Trouble has a way of finding me. I can't really help it. I'm familiar with the feeling. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? Go on. Tell me. No, we didn't find the weapon. It's in a cabin where Fred, Zara, and Romeo hung out when they were friends. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now, he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just... stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there! It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You might be safer down here for the time being. The admin has decided to... take an interest in our world. Then you'll need our help. I may not like you, but I'm not letting the admin keep us down here if there's a way out. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. 
The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. Treat it with more care than you did Fred's house. I won't be as forgiving next time around. It's all right. Fred would have wanted me to help you. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nerm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. Hey. Nerm, you can't stay. We need you with us. Hey. I think he said Jack needs him more. Hey. We understand, Nerm. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. I'm so sorry! 